Welcome back guys, Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We gotta take these two lines here. And we gotta solve the uh, system or find where they're gonna intersect by either substitution or elimination. And then we gotta verify the solution. So notice this one's a little bit complex because we're working with uh, fractions. Now, first thing I personally like to do when I see stuff like this is I actually like to take any expressions where the variable and the fraction are separated and then combine them. I feel like it just makes it nicer to work with. So notice that this x over 12, that's already combined. Another way this could have been written is 1 over 12x. Then if you combine it, this x is like over 1. x times 1 is x. 12 times 1 is 12. So this one's already combined, but notice this one here we can combine. So this, this is line 1. So this would be x over 12 minus, if we combine these two, 1 times y is y, 4 times 1 is 4, and we got 3 over 2, that would be line 1. And then this one over here, we can combine this and combine that. So this would be x over 3 minus y over 6 equals negative 2 over 3. That would be line 2. You don't necessarily have to do this. Personally, I like to do it. Just put it in a nicer format. There's just, I feel less going on with these lines versus these lines. They're the exact same lines. It's just a nicer format. So next thing I like to do when I have fractions is I want to get rid of the denominators if possible. And the way you do that is you got to take each expression and multiply it by the lowest common um, denominator, which 12, 4, and 2, notice it would be 12. So I would take this, multiply it by 12, take this, multiply it by 12, take this, multiply it by 12. And so this line here, 12 divided by 12, notice those would cancel, so we would just have an x right there. 4 goes into 12, sorry, there's this minus here, 4 goes into 12 three times, so we'll have 3y. Then 2 goes into 12, 6 times, 6 times 3 is 18. Another way to do this, just 12 times 3 over 2 would give you 18. It would be like um, 36 over 2, which is 18. So this line and this line are the exact same thing. I just took this and wrote it in a different format. And I'm going to do the same thing with line 2. So notice 3, 6, and 3, lowest common denominator is 6 between everything. You've got to multiply everything on the left side and the right side by that lowest common denominator. So 3 goes into 6 twice. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that would be 2x. 6 divided by 6 is 1, so we'd have minus y. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times negative 2 give us negative 4, like that. So this would be line 2. And so now what would happen is from here, we can solve by substitution or elimination. What I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate for this x here. So we'll have x equals 18 plus 3y. Then I'm going to take this and sub it in for this x. So I'll have 2 times 18 plus 3y minus y equals negative 4. And then we could just solve for y. This would be 36 plus 6y, right? When we distribute the 2. Uh, bring the 36 over. 6y minus y gives us 5y, which would be negative 40. Um, 6y minus y is 5y, and then negative 4 minus 36 gives us negative 40. So notice now we could divide by 5 and that would give us negative 8. Let me just make sure everything is all good. Looks all good to me. So y equals negative 8 and then we would take this negative 8, we could plug it into any expression and solve for x. x is already isolated here so I'll just plug it in here. Three times negative eight is negative 24. 18 minus 24 gives us negative six. So x is negative six. I'm gonna write the solution over here. And then y is negative eight, like that. 
And now what we could do uh, to verify it, we would plug in, this one's gonna be tougher to verify because of these fractions, but nevertheless, what we do is we take our solution and we plug it in to both of the original lines to verify it. So we'll have x over 12 minus one over four y equals three over two, that's the first line. Then we'll have one over three x minus one over six y equals negative two over three. Plug in negative six for x, so we'll have negative six over 12 minus one over four negative eight for y, and then we'll have three over two. So this would be negative six over 12 is negative one over two. Negative one over four times negative eight would give us uh, positive two. Right, uh, this negative eight is like over one. So we'd end up with negative eight over four, uh, which would give us negative two, and then negative negative gives us positive two. And then notice here, this two is over one. So we could change that to four over two. Common denominator, then negative one plus four gives us three. So three over two equals three over two. So the check verifies with the first line. And then the second line, um, let's see if it works out. Hopefully it does. One over three times negative six gives us negative two, right? Negative six over three gives us negative two. And then negative negative is positive. Now eight over six, that would be four over three. That would simplify to four over three. Then we got negative two over three. And this negative two is like over one. Multiply this by three, multiply this by three. So it'd be negative six over three plus four over three. And then negative six plus four gives us negative two. And that's gonna be over three. So perfect. Verifies there as well. So we've verified it with both lines. Negative six, negative eight is the final answer.